Hey, Kyle. Great to see you out on the ball field. I, I know it was a great weekend to be out, and I'm glad that uh, we were able to give you the opportunity to uh, work with the coaches and get back on the field. And hopefully we can keep that up as we build towards the season. Uh, I want to compliment you on the video you sent last week. It was uh, one of the one of the better swings. I really enjoyed looking at it. And so getting to see this again, um, you know, I'm really going to be looking with you to, to pick up on some of the finer finer points. And uh, after looking at the video, I think I've found one thing that's really going to help you. And uh, I'm really encouraged because there's so many things going right with your swing that I think making some minor adjustments are really going to pay off. So let's kind of give this a start here and let's look at you and your load. So I actually think that's a good job there. You've sunk into your back leg. I, I like that as a load position. So good start to your swing. Now, as we go into it, I'm going to just kind of play it through and I want you to see one thing you do well first. So there, as you move forward, look at that movement from the hip rotation. That's really good. That's probably the best part of your swing, really, is your weight transfer. But in order to get the most out of this, we got to time this better. So Kyle, watch as we go forward. When your heel strikes right there, you started your hands too early. And so what happens is, as we kind of go forward, your hands get way out in front of your hips. And the reason that happened is just a timing mechanism. So if we go back, again, when you strike the heel, look how far your hands have already moved. They're coming from a good position, but they're just moving too quickly. When that heel strikes, you, with your hand, should still be here, not there. Okay, And again, it's just timing. So if you can work on that, when you get into your stride and your front heel step, holding back those hands, and what it does is it creates, imagine a rubber band, tension in your arms, because your legs have started this way, if you get the timing, and it creates tension, and as you release the weight, you're going to explode out of that tension. All right. And because when, when you start too early, there's not any tension, and it's loose here. All right, so that's what we got going on. Um, hopefully you're able to uh, get back out, get back at it, and work on that. But again, I would be very encouraged with the things that uh, you're doing here because uh, I'm very impressed with the swing. And if we can kind of hammer out some of the finer points, uh, we're going to make you a really good ball player, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Talk to you soon, Kyle.